I'm Richard Gilliatt. I'm a journalist and author. I've covered some strange stories in my career. I might even admit to a fascination with strange stories. I wrote a book about the satanic panic of the 1990s when authorities around the world became convinced that Satanists were murdering children by the hundreds. Were these animal sacrifices? Animals and um, people. I exposed Belle Gibson, the Melbourne woman who launched a global wellness business by pretending to have five different cancers. I don't think I'm going to die tomorrow, but my body is dying. I've interviewed conspiracy theorists who think the earth might be flat. And I investigated Rolf Harris, the beloved Australian entertainer who is now a convicted paedophile. But in 45 years of journalism, this story is the one that has left me the most disturbed and the most perplexed. It's the story of a mother jailed for 16 years and a father sentenced to die in prison for crimes they insist never happened. We never had any issues between us. Could a child be tortured and abused by her parents for 13 years without anyone noticing? They were just a a normal family. Would a daughter accuse her parents of such ghastly crimes if they never happened? I cannot find one of these allegations that's possible. Would a jury convict if the evidence didn't stack up? I've got no understanding how, in an instant, our lives have changed overnight. I'm in a prison. Searching for answers to those questions raises some uncomfortable truths about the way police, the courts and the mental health system are dealing with the most unthinkable of crimes, child sexual abuse. If the parents at the centre of this case are innocent, it would be a colossal failure of our justice system. Shadow of Doubt. A new podcast investigation by The Australian, coming soon wherever you get your podcasts.